were bombed and then they got it down to the floor and then it was like a score yard. Either run or Washington? Yes. 17-3. Start with Trevor, then top. Uh, Trey, six rebounds tonight. Uh, Coach Woodson said, you know, the wings played a big part in winning the rebound uh, battle tonight. Has that improvement, especially from the perimeter guys, come from drills, film, focus? Where's that come from in the last few games? Yeah, I think just a little bit of everything. Um, I mean, early in the season, we're getting killed on, on the glass uh, in every aspect. So we, we wanted to clean that up and make sure we're finding guys and boxing out um, and also getting on the offensive glass. I think we got a good amount of those tonight. So uh, we got guys that can, are athletic enough to go go get rebounds at our guard. So I think we just got to stick our head in there and go get them. So we did a good job with that. Tom and Todd. Cool. Uh, you guys in your first three home games here kind of struggled a bit to get the wins, but you got them. Uh, how important was it tonight then to come out and just get off to that good quick start and just kind of hitting all cylinders early? Uh, I feel like it was good uh, as us as a team just to get that start early, just to show the team that we came here to play today and and just complete the mission and win the game. So. Khalil, what did it mean to you? You know, I think on the first time you caught the ball, they sent three defenders at you hard, um, but the team kind of responded to that physical challenge that Maryland posed early and kind of imposed your own will on, on them. What did that mean to you to be able to do that in this game? Uh. Uh, now, now that I know I can do that, I'm just going to, even if they keep sending people at me, I can find the open guys and get them open shots. And like I said, and you just, boy, yeah. <laughs> For both of you guys, this is the first game that uh, you outshot your opponent from behind the arc uh, in both halves, actually. You limited them to one of nine in the first half and uh, one of, I think, seven in the second half. Was that something you guys consciously did? It, changed to affect uh, the perimeter defense? Um, I mean, I think with such two post presses down, down like, like Khalil and Malik down there, they're going to, teams are going to start doubling now. And so we know that and we got to be ready to knock it down when it comes out of the, uh, the post um, and just shoot it with confidence. Um, so I think just it's going to keep happening and they're going to keep coming. So we got to be ready to shoot it. This, this is for Trey and Khalil. Um, the way the way they got the schedule set now, this this wasn't always like this. Do you guys like having two Big Ten games during the December part of the schedule, and then waiting to play the rest of them in January? It's a little different. Um, I mean, that's but I think it's uh, it's good just to get a feel what the Big Ten is like. I mean, it's physical every night, and you gotta you gotta be ready to go out there and compete. So I think um, you get a little taste of it is good, and then refocusing back in January. Um, it's, it's good. Well, this is my, you know, first year in the Big Ten, so uh, I, I don't really know too much. But just going off what Trey said, like I said, we can get a feel of how the Big Ten is right now, and then play the other games. and then get back to the Big Ten. We're gonna already be prepared. So, uh, Trey, you guys have gotten off to some slow starts this year, but came out strong both halves. Was that a point of emphasis tonight, or did it just kind of turn out that way? Yeah, um, I think you. Anytime you're at home or on the road, you want to get off to a good start to kind of set the tone. And it wasn't just offensively, it was defensively too. Um, we were able to, to go out there and, and with high intensity, and we, we, knew their, we knew our coverages, and we executed well early and often, so it was good. Mike, the message. Trey, with XO, what was the staff's message to you in terms of what you needed to do and, and bring to this game, especially with the Jameer Young matchup? Right. I mean, we got two freshmen starting, so um, we got to – kind of pulls guys along and it, it, it starts with me um, being the most experienced guy so I, I got to do a great job um, and do better in practice and coming leading in the games to, to help lead and, and when we get into game time just be ready to go and, and play hard but I mean obviously Jameer Young's a good player and he's quick and can really score it but um, it, it's it's all five of us guarding collectively. Mason and Zion. Khalil obviously a lot of your game is predicated on the guards being able to get the ball down to you or Ball to, ball to you down low, excuse me. 
Um, kind of what did you see from Trey and then both from Gabe uh, in the backcourt tonight? Uh, I would say they were more active tonight. Uh, <clears throat> even when they were sending guys trapping me, they were cutting, uh, you know, just attacking the basket, leaving uh, our other teammates open. And I feel like, yeah, we just keep doing that, we're going to be good. Last question, Zion. Trey, with, with X out, all four of the other regular starters were in double figures. Do you guys feel like it adds something extra to your game when it's balanced out the way it was today? I think so, because um, we got – Got a lot of guys that can score, um, and there's gonna, they're going to take certain things away from us, and we got to be ready to go to other options. But, I mean, the main thing is we're, we're, we're not really worried about who's scoring. Uh, we we want to get the win. So I think just all five guys just knowing that whatever it takes to get the win and, and the bench, um, it's, it's going to play a big role in us and the rest of the season. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.